Right, we're just out here of scene along with Evie. Hello! Hello. Uh, so we just stopped at a Darth Works, so we're just taking some time. Obviously, a week ago or seven days ago, uh, we did a flute sole treatment and found a few flutes. So while I'm here, we've done the flute sole, so we've got a few problematic koi in there that have got a bit of thin rot. Um, we're just treating topically, you can see we've got our kit and bits out. But what I'm going to do is take the opportunity while we've got them out of the pond just to do a couple of scrapes. So I thought it might be worth videoing it because it's something that I see uh, pressing a few times. So um, all I've keep plus is that we've got a H&M card uh, and trench line, Scott Carey. Uh, any civil engineering needs, give him a call. Scott, I'm sorry I'm using your business card, but it's such a good one, I couldn't not. Uh, we've got our slide, slide covers, a couple of objective lens. We've got our microscope. This is just a cheap Amazon uh, microscope. This was 60 quid. Uh, does right up to a thousand, I think it is. Magnification, um, bottom LED light. Uh, I will list on the screen now some of the better microscopes. It's something that I keep meaning to invest in, but at the time I didn't have the money. This does the job, but it's all about the objective lenses inside. These are typical Chinese poor quality, so uh, not the easiest to see once you've got the slide under the microscope. Um, certainly some of the um, Apex and the, is it Brunel I think it is? Well, they'll be floating past on the screen now. They're certainly much easier to view a slide on, and I do struggle a bit. So that's definitely on the cards. Unless anyone wants to purchase me one, uh, feel free. So like I said, we've got little bits of equipment there. Spilt my tea. Bollocks. But the tide's not gone all the way out. We've still got some left. So as I say, what I'm going to do is hand the camera over to my daughter, Evie, and she's just going to video us taking the scopes. Aren't you, Eve? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Hi. This is Eden Coy, and we're about to scrape a fish. Joking aside, so we've got our handy business card. These have been cleaned prior. Um, they've actually been boiled. We've also boiled the, um, the glasses as well, uh, just to make sure. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, if we take this Matsuba, all I'm gonna do is just give them a few spins. It tends to just disen disorientate should I say disentate just tends to disorientate the good thing in the bowl it's worth having the bowl they're nice and smooth so they're not too bad in terms of damage and then all I'm gonna do is I want to take a scrape from a couple of places so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the koi to the edge of the bowl support it with my hand and then I'm just gonna take a scrape from the top I'm gonna take don't panic if they start moving about again. Just stop, start the process again. And that's the thing, it's, it's about remaining calm. Come on, Potter. So Potter's in here because he's got a bad fin. And this is the one with the fin right. I don't know if you can see this. Um, just on its left pectoral fin there. Um, it's got a bit of fin rot, real stubborn. So that happened in our old pond. Um, and we just haven't managed to get rid of it. I did put out on the forum some advice So all I'm actually going to do with that is actually just keep using the topical on the understanding that it might take a bit longer So I'm just turning that fish again. All I'm going to do is bring it back. We've already got the one from along the top So again, if it starts to struggle, don't worry just support the koi And remember these are your pets. So obviously we don't want to be scaring them if we went to a hospital and the doctor was all rough and horrible with us, we certainly wouldn't want to go back again. So um, this is the first time this Matsuba's actually been scraped. So I'm actually quite surprised. Come on, Potter, out the way. Tiger, out the way. So all I want to do is just get that second scrape. I mean, if you've got a second person that can help you with this, obviously Evie's recording at the moment, but usually I would hold the koi against the edge of the bowl and then I would get Evie to, um, to do the scrape for me. I don't know if you can see it on there. So we've just got a tiny bit of the slime coat just running along that edge. And all we'll do is we'll transfer that to the slide, which I'll show you in two ticks. And we're back. So all we've got now is we've got our um, sample. We've got, we're doing this outside, so it's a bit unorthodox, a bit chaotic, but we've got our glass. I've got my little square cover, slide cover. Don't put these down anywhere because the amount you'll lose is an absolute nightmare. All we're gonna do is we're gonna scrape that sample down 
and onto the slide. So obviously we don't want too much on there. If I can do this from my big old fat cumbersome hands, anyone can do it. All right, so there we go. So what we got on there, I don't know if you can see that, if you zoom in, and then what I tend to do is just take a little bit of pond water and I just dab that pond water on there. I have in the past not been able, when I had Costia last year, the amount of times I did slide tests, excuse my shaky hands, the amount of times I did slide tests and couldn't locate it, and my koi dealer actually suggested adding some water. And as soon as I'd done it, um, lo and behold, Costia appeared. So we've got this on here now. Zoom out. So first objective then we've got 10 times. So what we're gonna do is we're going at 100. Um, so take a, a wide out view to start with. And then what I'll do is I'll drop down to the 400 once I'm done. Um, tend to go 250 then 400. So yes, I'll get on with it. I'm actually having a bit of a problem with this one because I can't see anything. It's all dark. Make sure you close the correct eye. It wouldn't be the first time I've done it. So all I'm doing is just having, once I'm focused in, all I'm gonna do, so as I say, I'm on 100 times magnification at the moment, and I'm just gonna have a little browse around the slide, so just very gently with my fingers, I tend to undo the holders, and then I work from one corner to the next, so I follow the edge of the slide, and I'm just gently working across. Adjust the light as you need. You don't want that light too bright. It's not easy because we're outside. But literally, I'm just working my way across. Just very slowly. I'm keeping an eye out for anything moving. What I'll do is on the screen now, I'll just show you a quick um, the image that everybody tends to use. Or most people sent to me when I first did my scrapes. Just of the identification chart. If you see something moving, don't panic straight away because you tend to get a lot of air bubbles and if you just put the glass down with a watery sample, it does tend, the bubbles tend to move around a bit. So as I say, at 100, we're just having a real broad look across the sample, but we will drop down to um, 400 next. Again, air bubbles. Air bubbles tend to look a bit worrying if you're doing your first slide. Um, I'll share an image of those now on the screen so you can see them. Again, don't be too concerned. Just take your time. Don't panic. Like I say, with my shaky hands, if I can do this, anyone can. So touch wood, we seem to have the all clear. So what I'll do is I'm going to drop down to uh, 400 times and we'll see if we can see anything closer up. Worth well, giving them a check over while they're there so you can, with using the edge, once he's settled, give them a quick roll over onto their stomach. Just have a quick browse. As I say, there's no need to be scared. And then all I'm going to do is just take those couple of. Alright, it's okay. is just take those couple up by the gills, run down the body, just supporting that koi as we go. Let her be. So again, what we're doing, this is the other sample. We've just come indoors now. All I'm gonna do, got a much better sample for this one. So we're just gonna take some of that slime coat, the sample, we're gonna drop that onto the slide. That'll go off for boiling. I haven't got any pond water up here, but there was water on the sample anyway. Just gonna press that down under the microscope. We got objective lens wise, we've got um, magnification wise, we've got the 25 times. So I'm just gonna do that on 10 for now. So I can have a look. And then I'll show you what it is that I'm seeing in here. So I just need to focus in, helps if you go the right way. See what we've got in here, shall we? That'll do. 
just while we're in here, obviously just doing the microscope work, you can meet Percy. So Percy is a baby wood pigeon that fell out of the tree and then the mother didn't want him no more. Poor old Percy. So we've just been looking after him or her, just trying to nurse. I mean, he's gone from literally laying on his side to uh, yeah, walking around now. He's eating, he's drinking. So obviously don't want to get him too tame to the point where he can't go back to the wild. Um, but we're going to monitor him today, see if we can get him flying later on, and if not, obviously we'll take him down to our local uh, wildlife group. But he's enjoying the old fat balls and the seed down there, so got his wire in there. And yeah, Percy!